Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys have had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, I know that I have. It's been brilliant uh, this Christmas, spending time with the family and uh, eating a lot of food, drinking a lot of drink. It's been brilliant. Um, but um, of course, Boxing Day brings the famous Boxing Day fixtures. Remember at this time of year, across Europe, nearly everybody else is on a Christmas break. But over here, um, in England, it's football all the way. I mean, it's traditionally loads and loads of games and they come thick and fast. You've got a Boxing Day game. Then there's another game at the weekend against Chelsea, followed by New Year's Day against Manchester United. So lots and lots of games all coming at you thick and fast. And um, it's Bournemouth away. Won't be easy, although Bournemouth have been on a terrible run of form uh, recently. I think they've only won one in their last six games, and that was the uh, shock result that they had away at uh, Chelsea. So Bournemouth, confidence is very, very low. But we also know that with Arsenal, it's a similar situation. Haven't been picking up the wins. Our last win was that uh, away win at West Ham. Um, good winner against West Ham. Uh, we then went away to Everton and we got a draw there. And I, you know what? I have to say that whilst it wasn't the greatest game in the world, I was kind of happy with that draw because I saw a lot of fight in the team. I saw a team that was, uh, you know, showing signs of bits of pattern of play. And um, how much of that was down to Mikel Arteta, we don't know because he weren't actually in the dugout for that game. However, for this game against Bournemouth, he will be. This is going to be his first game in charge and I cannot wait to see what he's going to do. I'm really excited for this game. Um, of course, when he got the job, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't very infused. I was like, oh, Mikel Arteta. I was a bit underwhelmed. But I have to say, he's really, really impressed me since he's come in. His press conferences have been brilliant. The things he said have been excellent. I saw the little clips of him um, that came on Arsenal.com of him on the training ground. I loved what I saw there. And he looks like he's going to be a no-nonsense guy. He looks like he's going to carry over a lot of the philosophies of what he's learned at Manchester City, which is, you know, building a strong team that everybody's on that pitch, is willing to fight. And he said in his press conference, he's giving everybody a clean slate. Every single player there is getting a clean slate. However, his minimum requirement is he wants to see effort, he wants to see fight. And I'm really liking what I'm hearing from Mikel Arteta. He's a very impressive guy. Very impressive guy. And of course, as well, remember, he's been at Arsenal. He was there for five years. And he's been at Manchester City in the Premier League for the last three-odd years. And he would have seen what's going on at Arsenal. And he'd be hurting him. Even though he's working at City, he'd be looking at him thinking... So he knows all the problems. It's not like a guy coming in from abroad who's been concentrating on managing a team abroad and then is coming in and had to do a load of research to find out what the problems are at Arsenal. Mikel Arteta would have seen it. Every time he plays against Arsenal, he's there plotting Arsenal's downfall. He would have seen and know the weaknesses throughout that team. So I really do think that he's going to be able to get stuck into this team and we're going to see some better performances from it. Now, of course... What sort of team will he go with? That's going to be really, really interesting. It was a very young team that played against Everton. And I've got to say, some of those youngsters really did Arsenal proud. Saka, I thought, was brilliant at left-back. And he may start at left-back again um, because, you know, we still got Kolasinac out and Tierney's out long-term. Um, also, uh, Bellerin's back, so he could come in at right-back. But then Maitland-Nars wasn't too bad in that game as well. I thought he, he played well as well. So... Some of those youngsters may stay in. There's a bit of a doubt about Martinelli. Um, he got kicked to pieces in that Everton game. And plus as well, there's rumours that he might have a bit of a hamstring. However, Danny Sabias might be back. So could he figure? And what's going to happen with Pepe? Are we going to see more of Nicolas Pepe getting a run out? Will Lacazette get a start? Will Aubameyang, who was pretty poor in that game, will he start? Who's going to be the captain? It's going to be really intriguing to see. And that's what I said. I can't wait to see what Arteta does with the team and if we get a bounce. Now, I am suppose if you're a Bournemouth fan, you'll be thinking to yourself, ah, oh, we're catching Arsenal at the wrong time because they would have liked to have caught the Arsenal of a couple of weeks ago where the confidence is low and the players are down and out and, you know. But now, 
Arteta coming in might have given that team a real lift. And if the real Arsenal turn up, I think we'll win the game. I really do think we'll win the game. And a lot of those players are going to know that they're playing now for their place. If they're not going to perform, the way Arteta has spoken, number one, you ain't going to play. And number two, you probably end up getting rid of you. So I like what Arteta at the moment is bringing to the team. But the proof is always what happens on the pitch. And it'd be marvellous for him to get off to a winning start. And I really do think, in talking to a lot of fans, I really do think the fans are going to get behind him. But it is important that he gets off to a good start. I can't predict what sort of team he's going to play because obviously we've not seen what sort of team he puts out. But if it's anything to go by off of his time at Manchester City, he's going to want to attack. So I'm hoping that maybe a Pepe might be in there. I'm hoping that a Lacazette might be in there. Um, and yeah, it's going to be so interesting to see what happens in this game. As I said, two teams not on the greatest of forms. So that makes it interesting. And um, the new manager of Arteta. It's just one of those games that I'm looking forward to. Boxing day for Arsenal over the past few years has not always been great, especially away from home. I always remember a couple of seasons ago, we went to Southampton away. We were doing really well. And then they absolutely battered us on Boxing Day. And I'll tell you, that was horrific. So I'm hoping that this could be the other way around and it could be that turnaround that just kicks us on going into the second part of the season. So looking forward to the game. Um, I really do think that Arsenal are going to win this game. I do think there's going to be a bounce. I do think that the positivity that Arteta has bought, I just think there's going to be a reaction from the team. And I really fancy Arsenal here. I'm going to go for Arsenal scoring goals as well. 3-1 I'm going to go for. A 3-1 victory to Arsenal. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Um, but Merry Christmas to everybody. And a really happy new year when it comes as well. And um, yeah, listen. Looking forward to the start of the new era Arsenal. The Arteta era.